All right, we are in my 87 Chevrolet R10. I got my handy dandy fly swatter because these freaking flies keep bothering me while I'm in here. I got the garage up, so something about being in here is attractive to them. But I'm working on hooking up my Quadraphonic Modern Sound for Your Classic from Retro Manufacturing. Got this from LMC and it's coming along pretty good. All right, so this is what we got going on here. All right, so when you get your your Quadraphonic 4, it's going to come with harnesses. And with those harnesses, I mean, they're going to want you to go on their site probably and order another harness to connect with their harness so that you don't have to clip your harness that comes with it. But it's all good. Clip that damn thing off. I clipped it right on off. All right, so on the side over here that doesn't have any knobs, you got a side over here with knobs and controls and everything. The side over here with no with no knobs and everything. This is the side that's going to go to your speakers, and it's going to also be the power side, which is a side that is grounded as well as hooked to your main battery supply. And it's enough wire here to run to the battery, so that you can get a good, you can get very good connection. You know, unlike with your factory radio, you know you're hooking it up to the power supply of the fuse box. But here, I'm going to be able to run it to a battery source direct battery source and then I'll be able to run my lines here on the other side to my radio and that's what I got here so what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to cut these wires and I'm going to mate these wires with this harness that's currently hooked up to the speaker wires now so I'm going to disconnect this I'm going to hook it to this baby and I'm gonna be on my way. So, the side with the controls. Yes, that side. And it's made in China. If it ain't made in China, what are you doing? You are obviously behind the power curve. All right, so I'm gonna get all this disconnected and my side right here, which is the factory harness for the radio, this harness is gonna be plugged into the radio. And then these wires, these power wires are going to be, I'm going to cut them, and they're going to go on this side of the harness, which is going to power my radio. So I'm not going to have to wire the radio to uh, ground or anything like that. I'm just going to have to hook it up to the harness, that's, which is coming off of that amplifier. I got my remote wire. I got my, what else I got here? The blue and white wire. What is that? That's my remote wire. And the blue wire is a power antenna wire. <laughs> the yellow is my constant 12 and i got my red over here as well so hey we're gonna be gucci so you know the reason why the wires aren't as big i mean these are like what what's that like a eight gauge that's like a 10 gauge probably but anyway the reason why the wires aren't as big as the wires that come with the radio is because all the power is going to be made with the amplifier which has heavy duty wires powering the amplifier, which means you're not gonna need extremely heavy duty wires on the other side because you're just using the radio to get your sound to your amplifier and from that point to your speakers. So let's see, this is how many watts? Four channel, 45 watts times four power amplifier. All right, so that's 45 times four. This thing right here, See, this is what I'm wondering. I should still have the power this is pushing out on top of the power I'm getting from this amplifier, I would assume, because I'm going to have an output from the amplifier to the speakers. And then this is going to be going to the input of this amplifier. And it's coming back out to the radio so actually radio coming in and going out to the speaker so yeah i imagine i'm gonna have i'm gonna imagine i'm gonna have the power of this radio pushing on top of the power of this amplifier i better so hey i'm being optimistic you know i'm hoping that that, that that's the way it's designed to work i mean the power isn't being cut away from the radio so you know yeah this is what i got it for i got an open box when this thing was still hot and popping it was in excellent condition, actually. The only thing that was wrong with it is um, the little slide thing that covers the USB port here is missing, and the remote control is missing.
But other than that, it's um, great radio. I mean, I'm so close to it. You know, I was like, okay, I don't need a remote. And also, I'm going to be using my cell phone, Bluetooth. So, there's really no reason I need a remote control. So, that's why I opted to get this radio out the open box like it is. Um, this happens to be 100 watts times 4. Very high output radio. So, yeah, I'm hoping for an awesome sound from this thing paired up with this amplifier to push my own high pass speed high huh, high frequency speakers but hey everything is coming along i got all of my wires here i went ahead and clipped everything get them prep prepped up so that i can go ahead and connect them i got my butt connectors i purchased earlier in the week wherever they are located uh we out here some freaking where I mean, it's, I bought a whole pack of butt connectors though. I think they're in this bag right here. No, it's not in that bag. This bag is freaking trash. But anyway, I bought some blue connectors like those right there. And I'm going to make connections with all of these wires. Not with tape, but I'm going to make them with the butt connectors this time. Alright, so. None of that mess about why you got tape and all that mess or solder it. I'm going to use butt connectors. I'm going to use my pliers and crimp it down. And I'm going to be done with it, yo. So anyway, this is your boy, Kurt. I'm coming to you, you know, just sharing with you what's going on here. I got the speakers installed. I got the little ones over there. I opted to go with the center dual speakers in the middle. I got one wire. I got the right side wired to the right side over there and the left side wired to the left side over here. So, you know, you still get that nice around sound. And I got my <clears throat> dual voice coil speakers back here in the back. My own 4x10s. And I got this here just so, because when you know when you insulate it, you can, you can get some bump out of these things in this little corner. So, if you're not running a, a actual sub system in the back of your truck, as you can see, that's what I got going on right here. I'm gonna organize the wires a little bit better. This is a ground I connect, but I just haven't hooked it up to this ground yet. I got it running off of a different ground, but I'm gonna hook it up to this ground at some point. I just gotta buy me a um, distribution block, and then I'm gonna run it off the distribution block over here, and I'm gonna run it off, run the grounds off of that block to each amplifier. Give it a nice clean look. All right, so. Cut me a break, cut me a break. Those right there are two 600 watt old school Rockford Fosgate amps. I still got the end caps. Anyone interested in the end caps, um, you can inquire. I got them over here sitting up collecting dust and I'm not going to be using them. So, got the Rockford Fosgate shallow subwoofers as well. And this is all in the back of the Chevrolet truck. I got this box off of eBay as well as these subwoofers. And one of the amps from eBay and my partner had the other amp. And, you know, they just happen to be the same thing and they push real good. So, no problems at all but like i was saying i got this in here. i just had it in here just to see what it sound like to try to um close off this speaker and it actually had a nice little bump to it so but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to lowe's i'm gonna get some insulation the liquid stuff foam stuff and i'm gonna insulate the speaker real good paint paint insulation black so it don't stand out too much or something like that just so it can have a nice little beat up in there you know but yeah that's what i got going on back here so you know the chevrolet truck do be bumping you can definitely expect that and for those that haven't seen my previous video or a couple of previous videos ago i installed these turn indicator mirrors these mirrors actually have turn signal indicators on them yeah i'll show you how i do that install so definitely check that video out Got those mirrors off of eBay. Very high quality mirrors, stainless steel. And everything's come along pretty good. If you didn't notice, I got the FireTech installed on this baby, the Go 85 600 horsepower. So, you know, that's going great. Uh, one of my viewers asked me about how did I install the steering stabilizer. Um, well, I'll do a video on that at some point, but, well, yeah, i do a separate video, but yeah. I'll show you and give you a little quick walk through how I did it, but it definitely involved cutting this piece here on that side. Because if you didn't cut it, when there's movement, it will move and it could hit that piece. And you don't need that piece. I mean, it's just there and for support in case you're in a front end collision or something like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll show something on that at some point though. 
But yeah, other than that, um, this is your boy Kurt A Roll. Um, we're working on project. It's Project Chevy C10. You feel me? 18, 1987. And it's coming along pretty good. This is how I got my power distri distributed right here. I got my main power coming in, feeding the amplifier. Then I got my my other. I got this going for the interior. Well, actually, this is coming off of the alternator. Going into my distribution block, and then this is going into the interior fuse box, and this is going to my um, Go EFI Fitech system, and this here is going to my lighting system. I got the high, I got the um, LMC lighting relay kit hooked up in here as well, which allows you to get the brightest lights as possible by running your headlights directly to a power distribution source, as opposed to the factory hookup way. And I also did the same thing with my own. Um, doors if you didn't see that video which i think i did recently but i did that also i got my i got the lmc relay kit which caught, makes your windows go up real fast so they go up and down at a very very high rate of speed a whole lot faster than they would the practical original way so definitely check those relay kits out by lmc i'm telling you they're very much worth your money and, you know, I'm just looking forward to going and get this amplifier installed so that I can start throwing everything back together. I got my dash right here. Get that baby thrown on. You might interested in some mirrors. I got the mirrors right here. Just hit me up. I got them. And I also got the speakers that I originally had in my truck. These two 4x10s here. And I had these in the dash right here. These are poked through your dash, so. But I got them if you want them. I'll let your boy. And... Um, I got this Alpine digital crossover thing right here as well. So, um, yeah, I'll do some more research on that. I might find some use for it. But hey, anyway, this is your boy Kurt A. Roll. As you can see, I still got a whole bunch of stuff in this box. I got to hook up. I got my window switches, um, door lock switches, weather trim, insulation that goes beneath the rubber mat. I got a rubber mat down there, and I got a whole trim kit for both. Um, driver and passenger side doors that I got to get installed so I'm trying to get this junk wrapped up within the next week my babies they be home been home sick all last week and one of them home sick today and uh, it's always something and they get out of daycare and I can't get nothing done so anyway this is your boy Kurt A. Roll I'm coming to you you know trying to share with you what's going on with the truck and I'm gonna keep it coming to you so please keep coming to me checking out the videos please like Share the videos. Subscribe if you find the need to. If my content is, you know, something that floats your boat, please subscribe. I'm just saying. But anyway, I'm, I'm done. Your boy Kurt Aro. And yo, stay tuned. I got a um, just got this new 2018 Escalade. So I'm gonna be doing a review on that thing here real soon. So hey, stay tuned for it. Anyway, peace. About to upload a little short video on it. Out.